I know you guys probably look at the title like, what? You're, you're back with this? You're doing this again? Are we going to get this again every single week? I'm lazy. Uh, I'm also a very busy person at the same time. I'm close to being done with my whole Elden Ring series. This is why I'm taking hiatus from reactions. But I haven't had enough time this week to get basically maybe the last two parts out. I have an idea. I've been streaming on this channel recently. I was thinking about maybe, especially channels like Sir Spooks. My idea is since it has been a while since I reacted to any of his videos, he has two videos that is more than an hour long. How would you guys feel like if those videos would be live streamed? And the ones that are under 45 minutes team video. That's an idea so for like search books or like when they do their best of, you can go react to the best of together live instead of having it as a video for me to edit and all kind of sort. With that being said, let's just get into the video. I missed this. I want to hear the little intro, the little TV static noise from Nukes Top 5 because today is 10 scary videos for full screen horror. I know we're going to go on theater mode, but full screen since the title says full screen. Let's get into it. Hidden away in the countryside of Chillicothe, Ohio, is the Schrader Road Tunnel. Built underneath a set of railroad tracks in 1927, the old road tunnel is said to be extremely haunted. The okay. story goes that long ago, a woman was carrying her baby while walking along the train tracks late at night. The two were hit by an oncoming train. It is said that her ghost and the ghost of her baby haunt the Schrader Road Tunnel. Many people who have traveled through the tunnel report that they have seen the ghostly figure of a woman holding her baby. Others report hearing odd, unexplained wails and moans. Because like, of this, locals started referring to the Schrader Tunnel by a very different and much creepier name. You're not here, the, the train? Baby tunnel. Oh. So, Levi Woodruff is intrigued by the spooky stories and sets out to explore the Crybaby Tunnel late one night. Of course. As you might imagine, it did not go well. Of course. So I've been down in here in a place called Crybaby's Tunnel. It's a, a place. It's local around my area. And they say she got hit on the tracks with her baby or, um, or her body was dumped right there in the creek, creek down here. There's something dead right there. Bro, there is something dead right there. Dead as in what, like an animal? A dead deer. Oh. It's a dead deer. Oh dear. I've been out here forever trying to get stuff done. This place is spooky. Oh, the graffiti too. Is anybody out there? Brother. Yeah, yeah. Bet you. Just wait for it. Hello? Brother. It's the same audio clip, though. Oh, hell no. Oh, hey, yeah. Hell no. Not hell. Hell. hell no. Hell. It's a hell, not hell. Hell. Of the tunnel with nothing but a flashlight, Levi suddenly hears the disturbing cries of a baby. Familiar Which with the like an MP3 file. Tunnel, Levi makes a run for it. So could these cries belong to the spirit of the baby that tragically passed away no. at the creepy old railroad? No. Tunnel? And is the ghost of the baby's mother also inside, just waiting for someone to come in? Okay. I was gonna say something so out of pocket as the baby noise. I'm not gonna say about coming in. Hell no. First off, since it's been a long while since I've actually been doing this, you kind of get a little bit of clarity. 
when it comes to re-watching these videos or watching the videos for the first time. Especially since I've been doing a lot of stuff with my editor friends and figure out more into Premiere and After Effects and Audition and in Florida Studios. With all these editing programs, there's so many things you can manipulate. And if there was a different tone to the baby's cry, instead of it being almost like repeated with the same beginning to baby cries, whatever, it sounds like baby sound effect number three. This took me about three seconds to find. Three seconds. Ready? Let me go back in the video. Right. Go back to the video I just watched. It's literally the same sound clip. It took me three seconds to find this video. The House of Light and Shadows. TikTok creator Anthony Yamada That's has dedicated every house. his TikTok page to making okay. videos about life in Japan and the available homes and real estate there. In one of Japan his so videos, badly. Anthony is giving a tour through an affordable four-bedroom home in Fukuoka City, Japan. Okay. When this happens. Here's what $760 gets you in Fukuoka, Japan. Now today we have a classic Japanese home, starting with a very nice tatami room. This house will run you a monthly rent of Juni Monen. This four bedroom home is in a wonderful location. Three minute walk away from a supermarket, what is that? electronic store and convenience stores. Did you see it? Oh. Well, Anthony didn't. But soon after he enters, a shadow can be seen moving around and standing behind a translucent Japanese style wall. You can see the foot. But when Anthony looks behind the wall, there's no one there. But Anthony didn't notice any of this until shocked viewers quickly flooded the comment section, wondering if the reasonable price of only 760 a month for a four bedroom home in a large popular city mm. has anything to do with that. Some viewers even jokingly ask if the ghost is included <laughs> with the house. Yes. Now, is this a Japanese ghost or not? And would you pay 760 yes. a month to live with one? Yeah, sure. I'll leave that up to Maybe you. Go ahead. Exactly. You go half and half, and if anything, I'll play the second. But this is Japan, I can't be American there. Fuck. I'll still figure out how to play the second. I'll talk to some Yakuza. Uh... Yeah. Bud. Reaper. TikTok user Jess is a certified nursing assistant. One night, she's working with sure shift in the psychiatric her real eyes. in an old nice. and allegedly haunted children's hospital in oh. Maine. Oh. She spots something that sends a chill down her spine. Okay, there's nobody here, right? Nobody here. Oh. No, because it is not me. This is me leaving, closing the door. What is that? Girl, you quit. It's called quitting your job. Opening. Witness protection program. But yet. Hi. A dark human like figure can be seen standing in front of Jess in the hospital hallway mirror. Or her name but is Jess. There's no one there. All Jesses have mental illnesses. Points out that she might be seeing the image of a Reaper. There to collect someone to take their soul. Yeah, sure. That seems supernatural. Jess confirms that, strangely, one of her patients actually did pass away the following day. It's worth mentioning that Nurse Jess has never posted any paranormal content on her TikTok and has only ever shared videos about her life and experiences working as a certified nursing assistant. Aw. So could this That's be pretty, a though. caught on camera? You decide. I know I'll say this because I work from home and I, I don't work outside the house. I want a lot of snow this year. I like the snowy atmosphere. There's something about the snowy atmosphere that just makes me happy. 
I'll like it for the snow this year. Down below. Crafter Marjorie Australia? from Huntington Beach, California, is packing for a trip to sell her handmade goods at a Las Vegas trade show. Suddenly, okay. she and her business partner hear something downright creepy coming from somewhere just below their feet. We're trying to deal with this. I Look. have had not enough They're in Cali. Oh, yes. shit. Honestly, this is coming from the dream. Okay. That's uh, some creepy, creepy words. Hey, Georgie. What the fuck is going on in here? Oh! Reminder, this is silent. Obnoxious as hell. <laughs> At least it's not New York. If it was, then it would be the Jews that was in New York. That's just not Angelico. I hear creepy sounds and what can only be described as singing coming from the sewer drain. The time of this recording is at 5.45 in the morning, so it makes no sense that anyone would be down in the sewer that early, much less singing. Oh, EMT, Now, Mara Jews. is in no way claiming that she captured anything of Homeless the worldly. People. In fact, none of her videos on her TikTok page have anything to do with the paranormal at all. Mara Most. simply posted this one creepy, unexplained moment that she experienced. So, just what is this? And who or what is down in the sewer singing at 5.45 in the morning. For now, this eerie capture remains unexplained. The thing is, we have access to the sewers. It's all about if you just want to do it or not. You know, the sewer lids, whatever you call that, the manholes. There you go, the manholes. They are heavy as hell. That does not mean that we can't get into it. With Diddy having a tunnel going towards uh mr michael jackson's house with the jews having their underground sanctuary in new york we have access you have a house if you have a basement in your house i mean there's not really anybody going to be truly auditing and i'm not trying to put that energy out there you never know. There's somebody in that neighborhood that's created a cult or like a religion thing or whatever, and they found a way to be in the sewers. They have a little bunker area behind their house, or they managed to find a manhole behind their house. Or maybe they created a homemade manhole that connects to the sewer tunnel. That's just... An idea we need scary videos so if you see something scary that you think would be perfect for the top five send it to me at nukes top five at gmail.com a room with a view ever since they moved into oh, their new so. apartment joey chalotney and his family have been experiencing strange unexplained activity that baby's got a lot of shit already belongings seem to inexplicably move on their own their infant son's toys turn on and off at random and they often hear the sound of doors and cabinets opening and closing on their own. I've had that happen to me. So on this particular day, Joey suddenly hears something very odd coming from his son's bedroom. He is determined to capture evidence of the supernatural activity in the apartment. So he takes out his phone and begins to record. Okay. What he captures is truly chilling. So me and my wife have been living in this apartment for about six months now. For the past two weeks, some weird things have been happening. Uh, in our son's room. Oh, my kids so have balls. I was going to record, but I, I actually I came here to feed the cats. We have two cats. So I came over to feed them, and I, I noticed that in his room, my son's room back here, there's one of my cats, I can hear his toy being played. And it was not on before. And it is playing right now. So are we not going to talk about the fact that the cat was fucking sitting up? Just against the wall, just chilling? Are, are we just moving past that? Let's just reprocess this. We have a cat. My son's room back here. Here, there's this cat is crisscross applesauce with his hand folded in the middle of timeout. 
You want to talk about your kids' toys? This cat is in time out. Are we not going to discuss this? I can hear his toy being played. And it was not on before. It is playing right now. And I don't know why it's playing right now. Um, I didn't leave it on. But even if I did leave it on, like I'll turn it off. Even if I did turn it on, it wouldn't automatically play. You'd have to, even if I brush over the keys, it doesn't really go. So you'd have to really press the button and get it go. And it was not on, it turned on and I could hear it. And that's why I started recording. And now that I'm looking around, I've like, there's stuff knocked over. There's plants knocked over, fake plants knocked over. Okay. There's books on the ground. The wipes are on the floor. I don't know A what lonely is island. on. And there is no one here. I'm here by myself. There's nothing, nothing here. Do you see that? Am I insane? Am I insane? I didn't see nothing. I saw someone just walk by the window. And I will, I will go out there and show you that no one is here. This door is locked. This is the door you're just like, this door is locked. There's nothing out here. Nothing out here. There's a closet door. This is also locked. I don't think we've ever opened that door. It's always been locked. Just the weirdest things are happening. Weirdest things are happening. An electronic toy turns on by itself. And as Joey looks around the room, a strange shadow can be seen passing by the balcony window. Joey shows that there's no one outside and that there's nowhere for anyone to hide. In fact, this window is on an enclosed balcony 12 feet off the ground. It would basically be impossible for anyone to climb up, walk by this window, okay. and then just disappear by the time Joey rushed outside. Later that evening, Joey receives a motion notification from the nanny cam in his son's room. He checks the feed and is shocked by what he finds. Got to go just look really closely. Little grenade in that baby's room. The rocking chair starts to move. It's in the corner. I would say the baby has to leave the room before you throw the grenade, but I suggest grenade with holy water in it. You can see it's very slight. It's very slight, but you can see the shadow kind of moving. It's rocking on its own. There's no one there. Everyone is at my mom's house right now. Everyone's at my mom's house. And then. The wipes fly off the dresser. And then Hey oh no. That the hamper. The baby's hamper falls over. Like what is going on? No one's there. What is happening? A rocking chair sitting in the corner of his son's bedroom begins to rock back and forth by itself. Almost as if someone is sitting in it. Then hmm. some baby wipes fly off the dresser and a hamper falls over onto the floor. Joey says that the family has already made plans to move to another apartment. And smart. until then, they will be staying at his mother's house. No, that's smart. That one is possibly the most believable one that I've seen in a while from any of the three channels I go through when it comes to spooky, scary ghost videos. Because I've had that happen to me. And in the comment section, most likely it would be my sister, but she goes by Jessica. She'd be commenting as well to confirm my stories. You've had had Furbies that were battery powered and they would activate at night. There was times where we had the same Furbies that was battery powered and they'll activate randomly. We'll take out those batteries and they'll still be activated. Somehow, some way with no batteries. There is times where we have a lamp, which is touch, like it's a touch lamp where uh, I believe is gold plated where any part of the gold plate you touch from the place where the lights are actually dangling from, from the top of the lamp, from the base of the lamp, wherever you physically touch, the lamp turns on. And for many occasions, times where me and my sister used to live with each other, we'll both be in our living room because either I'll be playing the PS3 or she'll be playing the PS3 or I'll be playing the Wii or she'll be playing the Wii, whatever we're doing. Uh, one day, I believe she was playing Guitar Hero and the light came on and I was laying down. She was on a little beanbag in the Guitar Hero and it came on. And then we have had times where other toys we had activated. I think it was like a little robot dog. I put a picture right now of the robot dog. That turned on randomly before. It started like walking. 
uh, we never left the thing on for some reason the button turned on and it was like walking about so these things are a little bit more believable because we went through this and especially one kind of story I mean I released the toys but I remember there's a time period when we were again in that same living room area where I was sitting on no I was laying down on my sofa there's two sofas one long one against the wall in the back of the room, it's another short one that fits only two people. My sister is in the front of the room with a beanbag looking up playing the, uh, playing the Guitar Hero on the TV. There's a time period where I felt something pull my foot. At the same time, something pulled my sister's hair. And we both building each other at the same exact time. Like, what the hell? Why? Don't touch me. My sister's like, yeah, don't pull my hair. I'm like, I didn't pull your hair. You pull my foot. She says, no, we didn't. And then the light turned on. This is by far the most believable. So the story I just said, there will 100% will be a comment on my sister. She will confirm the story. Also, just if there's any other stories, you know, you could type it in the comment section as well. I'll most likely pin your comment so people can read it. Scary videos. Jason Barber Gary. from Salisbury, North Carolina. Gary. comes home from work and he gets the unexpected scare of a lifetime. Oh, no. Hell no. A big angry snake is hiding around the edges of Jason's front door and lunges out in an attempt to bite him. Luckily for Jason, the bite was a miss, and the snake is actually a non-poisonous black rat snake. But Venomous. something to be learned from this. Venomous. If you walk up and your cat is just staring at the door and meowing for no reason, maybe take a closer look before you just head in. Venomous, Woo! not poisonous. In another clip, a man and woman have a similar scary encounter. I keep on saying this. People gotta understand. Snakes are venomous. I don't see it. Of a course, the pulls out an old steps. The fucking Yorkie come back and grab the toy and ran back. Stool and is shocked to find a large snake hiding under a box right in front of it. They make a run for it with their puppy following close behind. But the puppy is not going <laughs> to let the snake have his toy. So he just runs back in and yoinks it away. Snake or not, nothing is getting his favorite toy. Yes. Yorkies are the funniest dogs in the world. Oh my God. That's that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, don't fuck with snakes. They're venomous. Remember, they have venom. You got to take an anti-venom. You get bit by a snake. Not anti-poison. Poison are mostly from like other reptiles, like a poison dart frog has poison. Hence the name poison dart frog or even with like platypus. I think believe the, the beak of a platypus has poisonous glands. I may be wrong. I don't know, but I watch a lot of Steve Irwin growing up and Zabumafu. That is my level of expertise. Zabumafu, Steve Irwin and Bill Nye. I could get myself a science scientific degree. I could work for NASA. Those are my three credentials. If they ever ask me for my resume, my credentials, if I have a PhD, I'm going to say I watched Steve Irwin, the boomer fool and Bill Nye. Hopefully they allow me in. Would you allow me in as a zoologist zoologist? Yeah, zoologist. I think it's called zoologist for like animals. Game changer. Nuke's top five viewer Christopher Duncan emailed us some creepy CCTV footage captured at a small church in rural Mississippi. Hell the CCTV yeah. camera is recording the playroom of the church's quote youth group when something happens that no one at the church can explain. I remember watching VeggieTales. <laughs> And watch, watch, John, are you watching the same? Yeah. It's, it's not, no, no, oh, watch, watch, watch. In our game room, 
I was in church was VeggieTales. Watch on. Watch. It was like more like story time. So we were reading passages from like Jonah. Nobody listens to me. Watch And then VeggieTales. I'm about to go crazy and break. Oh. Ooh, a dead break. It's still moving. It's still moving, y'all. It's still moving. It's still moving. I'll be convinced if both the poles move. Pool stick on the floor mm. of the church playroom can be seen rolling around, shaking, and vibrating all on its own before it just snaps right in half. Chris says that the kids in the room were so busy and loud that they didn't even notice the creepy event. But after playtime, church officials found the broken pool stick on the floor and went back to check the CCTV footage to find out just who did it. They were pretty shocked to see that the pool stick seemed to just break on its own. Chris hmm. says the church is known to be haunted and that there have been many other incidents of paranormal activity over the last 20 years. Aren't churches supposed to be a holy so ground? Could be the work of an angry spirit or an aggressive entity? And why at a church? Let yeah. me know what you think. I remembered from Supernatural with Sam Medin that churches are supposed to be holy ground and demons and ghosts are not supposed to be able to be hostile or even enter a church but kind of seem like maybe this is an old church that has not been properly blessed if you follow that type of faith you know yeah that faith uh i mean there's there's a lot of movement if i would have seen the top part of that pool table Pool stick in the bottom of that pool stick continue to move i would have been more convinced this could easily be somebody off screen just like with a little string pulling on it messing with it if i would have seen both of the sides of the pool stick continuously move after it was broken i would have been more convinced and then two how much money are they making have a freaking pool table for the kids again me growing up i had veggie tales i had little coloring books for like jonah and his story and then as well as the ark and noah and all those kind of stuff i didn't have like a complete game room we just had a small little room where we just watched tv that's how i found about you know veggie tales and all that kind of sorts that show does go hard. VeggieTale is a cool show. It's the Jonah movie. Strange noises from the toilet. That just be this me. Next video was posted to the next Dr. top five subreddit, Taco Bell? and I really appreciate all my subreddit followers. So I'm just gonna repeat what someone on there wrote that I should say about this video. Ready user Minato caught something really odd on his home camera while pooping. So user Minato is actually a guy named Dustin, and he apparently has an extensive collection of bongs. But never mind that. Let's just analyze what Dustin heard while um <laughs> dropping the kids off at the pool. Creative. <laughs> A soft female voice can be heard calling out, Dustin? Okay. Hello? Now Dustin is home alone, but he says the voice was so clear that he thought a stranger was standing right outside his bathroom door. Even creepier, Dustin's two dogs seem to be anxiously looking around the living room, almost as if they can see something that we can't. Hmm. So did Dustin capture, quote, something really odd on his home camera while pooping? And just how many bongs does one fellow need? <laughs> Dustin, uh, you can answer these questions and more down in the comments. I mean, for a person that has a lot of bongs, uh, maybe their video, you can say with a grain of salt. That's all I'm gonna say. Be respectful to Dustin. I can be a little bit respectful towards Dustin, but 
You bet at that. Hello? Melville Cemetery. A new Stop by viewer and YouTuber who goes by the name Wishy reached out to us about a live stream from the allegedly haunted Melville Cemetery in Melville, New York. Is Wishy the second says that his Brian went out to broadcast a Ouija board session live from the Melville Cemetery while his friends watched and talked to him on Discord. Now the Melville Cemetery is located on Sweet Hollow Road, a road that has many tragic and ghostly legends attached to it. One such legend is that a school bus driver lost control and drove off the bridge crossing Sweet Hollow Road. All of the school children on the bus met a tragic fate. Another legend says that three boys took their own lives by hanging themselves from that very same Sweet Hollow Bridge. So it goes without saying that Sweet Hollow Road and the cemetery are said to be extremely haunted. Brian is on a Discord call with his friends, who you'll hear in the background and he is streaming live as he decides to do a Ouija board session just outside the gate of and the Melville Cemetery. Things start to go wrong. And what hole. happens next is truly terrifying. And Dale. Hello? Yo, oh my God, look up. Why is it going to no? It said no. It said no. Be like, yo, yo, the camera's moving. Yo, bro, the camera's moving. The camera's moving. Bro, I'm leaving, bro. Yo, I'm leaving. Was it you that moved the camera? Bro, the fucking car is going off, bro. Yo! 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 Understandably, Brian is a little freaked out, but he manages to stay calm, reposition his camera, and continue his live stream. Bro. Are there any spirits here that would like to talk to me? Bro, I didn't even ask it. If that shit moves without him touching it, then I'll believe the Ouija board. Was that you that just turned on the alarm? Yes. I'm just... I left the keys over. I'm panicking, bro. Where the f*** are the keys? On the floor. You left it on the floor. Brian is a little freaked out, but his friends keep telling him that he needs to go and say goodbye using the Ouija board. You see, in the paranormal community, not signing off by saying goodbye at the end of a session is considered to be a horrible mistake and is said to invite the contacted spirit to remain attached to the Ouija board user. So, Brian goes back. And this is when sh goes sideways. Uh oh. I took the lights and everything. <sighs> Bro. Oh my f***ing god, bro. Bro, the board went in. Get the phone, get your phone, get your phone. Yeah, they're getting it, bro. Oh my god, I saw that. We caught that on camera. I'm leaving, bro. Yo, 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 get the f*** out of here. Get the f*** out of here. Get the f*** out of here. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Bro, get the f*** out. Get the f*** out. The Ouija board suddenly slides across the pavement to the other side of the locked gate, mm. right into Melville mm, Cemetery. This kick. I don't believe kick. Brian starts to leave. But people but don't after everything stuff that kick. has happened, he again begins to worry that he didn't say goodbye after using the Ouija board. So Brian goes back again. He plans to jump the fence and retrieve the board. I'm jumping the fence, bro. I'm jumping the fence. 
Bro. Bro, Chris. Chris, look at the stream. Oh my god, bro. There's a big fire in there. There's a fire? There's a fire. Get out of here, run. Run. Yo, get out of there. I'm not gonna get out of here. Bro, what is burning though? A fire can be seen burning on the road inside the cemetery. Even though his friends advise him to just leave, Brian once again feels that he should definitely try to retrieve that board to say goodbye. It's in, you didn't see it? No. Oh, you had to no, no, I, I wasn't on my phone. I was Man, that's a low gate. That's easily flammable. Make sure you don't slip and have your balls get pierced. Bro, I'm jumping. I'm jumping. Bro, it's literally graves. No, it's not. Bro, how far did this shit go? Bro, I see it. I see it. How did I get? It was the board. The board and the planchette. Oh my god. Bro, I'm not touching it. So do I just say goodbye? That's gasoline in that circle. Oh my god, bro. Goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Dragon, say goodbye. I did. Brian is finally able to say goodbye on the Ouija board, and he just gets out of there. But is it real, or is no. it all just a very elaborate live stream hoax? Yes. I leave that up to you to decide. The moral compass on Kick is non-existent. I'm not saying that TikTok is good. I'm not saying that YouTube is good. I'm not saying that Twitch is good. I'm talking about the amount of horrible things that's allowed on kick with that one dumbass crashing his car because he wants to look at his damn you know, chat while driving in the rain he crashes his supercar because these young kids are just retarded nowadays so it's like what do you expect a lot of these kids are just doing things for clicks and likes all they care about is clicks and likes no matter if they are desecrating people's graves they don't care if they're offending anybody you have people who are cool with like these co-owners or even high tier workers or people of kick and they're out there getting 16 17 year old 15 year olds drunk and then on live make it out with them and all this kind of just disgusting stuff all that flies on kick Watching full movies, watching this, watching that, you know, yes, it's kind of critical with me being a reactor to nuke, but at least I, you know, it's not, this is not a copywritten thing. This is not like Gordon Ramsay or movies or Marvel or stuff like that. This is me doing reaction. There's just, just so much horrible stuff on kick, which is why I never go on kick or never will have a kick account. That is just so plainly obvious with that puddle where it was just like gasoline poured and then they just set it on fire as he was walking away or like when he was in the car there's some, there's some if he could easily get into that place get easily have some like another friend hop in there and have everything preset how can the board go from behind a gate and go up a hill up a hill that far into it Come on. There's just so many things that I just never take with not even this, a molecule of salt when it comes to, you know, especially this young generation with kick on top of that. But if I see a Gen Z, an alpha person on kick with something that seems so outlandish, I know it's bullshit. I know it's bullshit, especially beyond kick. Drawn out. Tattoo okay. artist Liz Cruz is working on a customer's tattoo in her home studio in Erie, Pennsylvania. Things suddenly take 
a very disturbing turn. So I'm just, um, like, adjusting the needle a little bit. Okay, and we'll, we'll let that essential dry for a couple of so we don't turn the rub off. I think I'm going to I'm looking up, right, down. Just that heart rate. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's good. I think that that would look really cute. Like, especially like, if I like, blend it with the other side. Yeah, that's good. 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 Yeah, I swear to God. Imagine mid session. <laughs> Just have like a a fifth the tattoo table. done. Liz's tattoo supply suddenly rolls away from her all by itself. Liz and her customer are a bit freaked out and try to remain calm. But then a chair lurches out from a table nearby, and the two have had about enough. They get up and just make a run for it. Tattoo artist Liz says that she has no idea what happened to them that day, but she believes that they might have experienced something, quote, far beyond the ordinary. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and even TikTok. On Twitter. You're so zesty with it, so Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. But yeah, you guys should also follow me on Twitter, because I also have a Twitter and Instagram and everything else, because it's my job too, literally. These were not half bad. I miss these. I truly do miss these. I have a lot of catch up to do, meaning there's a lot of content coming up after I'm doing Ring. It may not continue on this channel. Just giving you guys a heads up. I have a channel called Senpapi. Two eyes at the end. This channel may become a archive channel or a place where I just go live. So I might just change this into some poppy live and just keep this strictly a live stream channel. But with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed today's reaction of 10 scary videos for full screen terror. This was by Nuke Tops 5, the king, the goat, uh, ghost daddy of scary videos. I hope you guys also like the idea as well with the longer videos, especially from Star Spooks being a live stream only thing which i think will be fair he has a whole bunch of videos that are 50 plus stories that i feel like doing it in sections just takes a little bit too long i could just do a whole live stream of just us watching it and talking together and all the kind of sorts and you guys could also tell me your opinions live when i'm doing it but that's where i'm going to end it at as always i love your faces and i'm out Look, I'm coming from the next lane.